trapped! Chica loves pizza. Hey, superstars. Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach is my most viewed review easily. Partially because of the ridiculous power the FNAF fanbase has on YouTube, but also because I think it's currently my most entertaining review. I was not a fan of the original game to say the least, and so my disdain for the game as well as the stupid amount of visual glitches I caught on stream supplied me with the ability to tear this game in two. Yeah, um, so I guess this is his 10th game, it's FNAF Security Breach, I played it on stream, it was, uh, shit! My review was not kind. Playing Security Breach on release was worse than being waterboarded. It was borderline unplayable with its constant glitches and terrible performance issues. I would consider connecting a car battery to my nuts before I considered playing this game again. But recently, the game has got a bit of a second win going with the release of Ruin, a free DLC. And you know I had to play it and review it. I was weirdly excited to open this game and take a fat dump over it all over again. But surprisingly, that isn't how this is playing out. I had zero confidence that while revisiting this game, I would get a better experience. But I was wrong. This is a redemption story. I can't believe I'm saying this, but Ruin is actually pretty good. They took the open worldy style of Security Breach and chucked it in the garbage for a more linear experience. The pizza plex is all broken and destroyed and the set pieces are much more crammed. All these changes have given Steel Wool Studios an opportunity to redeem themselves. The linear, more amnesia style of game is definitely much more realistic for a smaller studio to pull off. They bit off way more than they could chew with the free roam aspect of the original game. The DLC's atmosphere is great, much creepier, it's claustrophobic, and way more unsettling than the base games. AI for the enemies also works so much better in this setting layout, and the pacing of the sequences in the game, as well as the plot, felt much better. As a matter of fact, they had multiple plot twists and an ending chase sequence that were really well executed, and they also doubled down on making you feel bad for the damaged animatronics, with you actually shutting one down in a scene that does a great job and making you feel terrible about what you're doing. What the fuck is happening? I don't want to do this. I already I feel bad. I don't want to deactivate her. I don't want to do that. I'm sure your friends will show up this time. Oh, what? Oh, come on, dude. I'm so sorry, Cassie. What are you doing? What the fuck? I'm- oh man, I actually feel so bad. I can't believe I'm saying this, but they have actually improved everything. New puzzles, great new mechanics including a mask that allows for environmental puzzles and storytelling, enemy designs that are scarier than ever, the security cameras don't look fucking hideous and stupid now and look actually creepy, and the biggest thing no more security bots. The DLC isn't perfect and does still have some issues and glitches. It's super easy to clip out of the map and cause janky shit to happen when you try to, but just playing through the game without glitch hunting or whatever you want to call that, it's surprisingly a smooth experience. Unlike Security Breach, where walking around was enough to just give the game an aneurysm. Because of my experience with Security Breach, I assumed that this was still going to be a complete mess. During the stream of my first playthrough of Ruin, I was playing on medium to low graphic settings, because when I originally played the base game, it was so poorly optimized that the only way to get a semi-consistent frame rate 
was to play on those settings. And even then, the frame stuttering was fucking atrocious. It was the worst thing ever. I was just so confident that they hadn't fixed this. So I didn't even bother trying to up my settings until after my first playthrough of the DLC. And turns out, yeah, I, I was uh, I was wrong on this one. Uh, I'm able to run both the DLC and main game on ultra settings now with a consistent frame rate. After realizing this, I went back, replayed the DLC, and got footage with better graphics options for this video. And I managed to keep my dick in my pants the whole time. I also replayed a bunch of the base game to see how much had been improved over there, and it's still pretty shit. Oh shit! A part of me is disappointed that I didn't get to make a brutal sequel to my already harsh review of Security Breach. But hey, after 13 games, it took a DLC for me to finally get a FNAF experience that I actually enjoyed. And because of this, I'm giving the game 7 highs out of 10. If Steel Wool Studios makes more games like this, maybe, just maybe, I will finally go through a FNAF phase. Dang, this place is spooky at night. I sure could go for a slice of p, -p, -p pizza right about now. Really? Because I was feeling kind of hungry for something else. You know what? Maybe not.